Okay, today I've had a request from a, a viewer. Um, how do I make a simple animation showing a track using Photoshop? Now, usually you need After Effects or something um, real simple, a little bit more complex than Photoshop, but I've managed to find a very effective way of doing it in Photoshop. I should say to everyone, I'm on a Mac, um, and so and I'm running Photoshop 2017. So First of all, find a map. Now I'm going to show you how to draw a route from Wellington to Featherston. First of all, what I do is I do Command Shift 4 and I drag it over the area that I want to select and capture that screenshot. Go to Open Up Photoshop and here's one that I previously did. Open up that screenshot. There it is. Now what we have to do is create a path, which is the route that you want to show in your animation. And first of all, what we want to do is go to Layers and go New Layer. And we can call that, if you want, Track. And then we take the Pen tool which is this one here, and we start drawing along the line of the track that you want to animate. Now in this case, we're just going from Wellington to Featherston, which is a pretty simple route, but you can see that if you were going over a very windy area, and want a lot more detail, then you might actually spend a lot more effort doing it than I'm doing here. Um, but it's pretty simple. Every click creates another node. And um, this is the new tuckers, so if I was really zoomed in, I would be being a lot more accurate. But don't forget that we only use this on the video, so it doesn't need to be really detailed. Okay, so there's my path or track to Wellington to Featherston. That's what it looks like. And it'll be sitting on this track here eventually. But if I click on paths, that's my route path. So the thing to remember before you carry on is make sure that the color of your the track that you want to animate is in the foreground, so down there, set foreground color, and I've set it to a bright red. Okay, so on the work path over here, I click and I go stroke path, and I've got mine set to pencil. There are a whole lot of other options, and I think that when you set up the pencil, you can you know vary the width of the line. Line's about three or two two um, pixels, and there's the uh, that's the track colored in red. And if we go back here, since we don't need that path anymore, we can delete it and there's the track without the path. So going back to layers, now this is where it gets reasonably tricky. Um, so what I've done in the past is I've done a little um, illustration of a start point and a little illustration of an end point and often I put in um, say how far this track is so let's say oh, I can't remember how far Featherston is let's say it's 45 kilometers and that's way too low so I'm bump that up to say 36 points and it's red, and we'll just move that down there. And I don't really want it red, so here's my T tool. Change that to black. Okay, and that's on another layer as well. So the 45 kilometers is on another layer. So we got to this thing by um, going. Photoshop, Window, Workspace, Motion. And we came down here and there were two choices. Create Video Timeline, Create Fame and Animation. 
So if you go create video timeline, click on that bit, and then what it does is it fills in the text, the track, and the layer. Sorry, the background layer. Now, what we're going to do is animate these three things. So, first of all, I don't want the 45 kilometers to appear until the end of the animation. And so I drag the start point of that animation, just using the mouse, down near the end. So this whole thing is going to be five seconds long. You can make it as long as you want. Um, the track, I'm going to leave exactly where it is because I need it to start at the beginning and I need to end at the end. And the layer, background layer, I leave in exactly the same place as well. So if we just played this now, bang, in comes 45k. So that's really simple. But what we want to do is show how to animate it so that it looks like the track is appearing as as the timeline moves along. And we select the track in the layer and select mask. We don't need this joined to that layer because we want to move the mask independent of the layer. So we get rid of that lock key. And what we need is that mask to be black, not white. So we can go up here and go fill black 100%. There we go. Now, you can see that that has just got rid of the track because it's masked it out. That's why it's called a mask. Now, in order for us to see where that mask is, because we have to know where it is so we can move it or see where we're moving it. On a Mac, Option, Shift, click. And that gives us our nice pink mask, which helps us identify where it is so that we can move it. Now, in the track on the timeline, the timeline is at zero or at the beginning. Click this little arrow here and that shows us some options of position, layer mask, position, etc. So we're only interested in where the layer mask is. So we click layer mask position and that puts a keyframe wherever that um, timeline head is. So at the beginning and then we want to animate the mask to a point where just before the 45 kilometers comes up. So we move the timeline head, play head to that position and then using the V tool or move tool we move that across so that Featherston is showing and release and what that does is it adds the last keyframe into um, that area. So if we return the play head back to zero and then push play, you'll see that goes across like that. Now at the moment it would appear that I have the opacity set to 58, which is not what I want. I want that all set to 100. So let me just do that and push the shift key again and that plays it solid. And there you go. That's how you do a mask. So in order to um, see what that looks like, hover over the layer mask thumbnail, option shift, click, gets rid of the mask, play it again using the shift key not the shift key, the space bar, I'm sorry. Do it again, space bar. And you can get as clever or as simple as you want to make it by adding uh, little illustrations showing the start and illustrations showing the end. And using the timeline, you put the start button down here, we go probably the whole length, and then the end illustration would just show at the end. Um, and that's about it. Okay, to save this as a movie, you go File, Export, Render Video, and it gives you all of these uh, choices. I'm going to select a folder, which will be my 
this top. And here we go. So it's going to save it to the desktop. Don't need to create a new subfolder. Uh, I'm going to leave it at whatever that is, but normally I do 1080 by 960, I think it is, for HD. And or is it 1080 by 1260? I can't remember. Uh, and then away you go. And then you render that. And that will give you the spinning wheel, exporting the video. And there you have it. Thanks for watching. Check out some more rides on thinman.co.nz and don't forget to subscribe.